quick note before the video starts. In this video, I used the impending texture pack, which is a texture pack I'm going to be using for a new, a big project I'm making. So if you're wondering why the pit, the sticky pistons look a bit weird, uh, that's why. Okay, bye. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So first off, I am alive. Okay, I've been working on the impending data pack and trying to make it work with multiplayer servers, which it now does. But now I need to wait for 1.16 to come out so that I don't release it for 1.15 right before 1.16 comes out. But anyways, the point is, I'm still alive, stay subscribed, and if you're not already subscribed. So anyways, today we're looking at the 80 hertz redstone clock. Uh, this is an incredibly fast clock, and this is not it right here, uh, but we will get there. First off, I'd like to acknowledge the corrupted background. <laughs> I'm playing on 1.16 pre-release 2, and it's very buggy, as you can see. If you're wondering why the moon is red, guess you'll just have to stay subscribed for impen- Okay, so enough plugging, what is this machine? So this machine is, if you've seen the last video, the 40 hertz clock video, you will recognize this machine. This machine is basically just one module of my 40 hertz clock, and the 40 hertz clock just consists of three of these modules. So if I put a block here, you can actually see that this block is not moving, yet there are still pistons pushing it. So what's happening here is that this block is getting pushed here, and then back here, instantaneously, within one tick. And since pistons are limited to moving a third of a twentieth of a second, basically we just have to have three of these, and it'll be 20 hertz, and then double that because we have the weird block. Okay, I know it sounds complicated, but you can go watch the 40 hertz clock video, and it is explained much simpler there. Now here's the same clock, but just in a different version. Instead of using a block with redstone torches, we just use a redstone block. So the reason I have these machines up is to show how the new clock is going to work. So essentially, in order to get this redstone signal to activate twice within a tick, uh, we have this redstone block moving two blocks instantly. So what if we make it move more blocks instantly? So thus, the 80 hertz clock was born. Now, I, I haven't actually made that clock uh, in this world yet because I actually wanted to make it live. I mean, not live, it's in a recording, but you know, I want to make it right now. And the reason I want to do that is because it's really easy to build, and it can be a really easy tutorial before I even showcase the thing. So how do you make this machine? Well, first you have to make a 2x2 two two hole in the ground. Then you have to put redstone dust in the hole. Pretty simple enough. Then you put sticky pistons on the sides like this. Anyways, after that you put the pistons on top of the other pistons. And then you replace one of the pistons with a normal piston. Then you have to place redstone coming out of the pistons. Or almost kind of, it's kind of out of the pistons. It's facing this way. Make sure it's not facing outwards like this. It's facing outwards like this. Anyways, you're going to do that to all of the sides. Then you're going to make L shapes coming out of the redstone and then into the piston. It's just like this. Then you're going to put redstone at the top here. And now you're done. Yeah, that's it. This is a third. This is a module of the 80 hertz clock. It's not the full thing, but in order to make the full thing, you basically just make three of these and then combine the signal. Okay, so I actually completely forgot about something. These top pistons need to be normal pistons, but now you can see... If I, if I put it in the right area... Oh. Oh. There we go. It works. So this is what you want. You want this to look like this, and if you want to turn it off, you have to try to break this redstone. I mean, you could also just break the redstone dust, but yeah, that that's the machine. I completely forgot about the top pistons having to be normal pistons. I don't know why that is. Um, I, I might have just been unlucky, but I don't know. These have to be top, uh, sticky pistons, non-sticky pistons at the top here. But anyways, now it works, you can see, and um, yeah, that's one-third of the machine. Let's go ahead and make the rest. Alright, module 2 done. So it looks like this position will not work, so I'm just gonna get rid of it here and retry. Alright, looks like this position won't work either. Wow, I'm getting unlucky. And there we go. Last module done. Well, it took a few tries, but we finally have all three modules, and uh, this, is, this is the clock right here. Okay, so how are we actually going to activate this to where it's 80 hertz? Basically, we need to offset each of these clocks to equal 80 hertz. So basically, uh, we just have to activate this one and then time it to where this one activates right after. Now, I, I say time, and that, by that I mean uh, keep trying it until it works. So 
Uh, I'm going to go through that process right now. Now, to combine all the outputs, I do recommend using slabs like this. Uh, and the reason why that is, I will go into later. Okay, so now we have this all set up. We have the slabs, and they're all facing into the same note block. So, uh, as soon as we activate one of these modules, you can already see some funkiness going on. So, if you look really closely, each time that redstone block moves, instead of just activating the note block once, it's actually activating it four times in the same tick. So, if we slow down the game, we, we slow down time here by lagging the game, you can actually see that each note, it isn't just one note, right? Each tick doesn't just have one note, it's four notes. Now this clock is, I believe it's eight hertz is the speed of this clock, um, but as you can see there's there's four notes, there's four signals for every tick, so it's actually not eight. Um, it's actually 32. So already we have a clock almost as fast as the last one. Let's activate all three of these modules. So I'm going to keep time slowed down here to make it easier. You can obviously do this without slowing down time. I've showcased that process uh, in my other 40 hertz video. Uh, but let's just go for this. So as you can see, they're alternating now. And we, we need to have a, a third one alternating as well. That one didn't work. We did it. Okay, so I did it after just a few tries. And now you can see they're all alternating. So now if I set the time back to normal... Well, the first thing that happens is I lag. I lag. Okay, so my la my game just lagged a bunch from the game speeding back up. But now you can see this is it, the 80 hertz clock. That is very fast. I mean, look at that. I mean, this isn't modded. This isn't anything like that. There's there's no video edits or anything like that. Well, there are edits, but it's not anything advanced. I mean, look at this. It's actually working. So, here we go, an 80 hertz clock, and to put that into perspective, uh, that is the speed that a hummingbird flaps its wings. Okay, yeah, you know the bird that can just kind of hover? Yeah, that one. And that's the speed of this clock right here. That's how fast this clock is. Now, is it the fastest clock? Yes, as of now, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the fastest clock that someone has made in Minecraft so far. But is it the fastest possible? No. And I say that because I actually am making a design. I am, I am trying to make a clock here that could potentially be thousands of times faster. I mean, theoretically, the only limit to this clock I'm making is the computer. Now, that clock is very complicated and it's taking quite a while. I mean, I'll probably put like a screenshot of that up here um, of the testing world. It's not, it is not fun. But yes, I'm making that clock. It will be released as soon as it's done. Unless Mojang decides to just randomly packs, uh, patch zero ticks or something. Now, with the other Minecraft clock videos, I like to say they're like the uses of the clock. And to be honest, this clock really doesn't have many uses. I mean, the best use is probably the note blocks. I mean, just looking cool and also sounding like it's holding the note. I put a clay block under this note block here. Uh, it sounds like it's genuinely holding the note. Instead of just, you know, tapping the note or like producing the note in a pulse or anything like that, it's constantly playing it, as you can hear. So that's probably the only use for it. It's probably not the best use for it. I recommend just using the 40 hertz or 20 hertz clocks for that. Um, but it is the highest quality, if, if you want to say that. Okay, so now we're going to get into why I said you want to have slabs here. And the reason why is because now you can combine the entire signal without any problems. So now you have this signal that you can draw out and it still works. Uh, and the reason that works without breaking the machine is because redstone can go up the slab, but it can't go down the slab. So there won't be any feedback. So you can essentially just have a redstone line here. Now the redstone line doesn't go very far because like at this point it starts like, okay, this is still fine. And then you keep going and it's like, okay, it's starting to lose some power. And then at one point it yeah it just stops so it isn't isn't the the most useful thing but you can draw out the line and I mean I guess you could like put more redstone here and then put like more note blocks if you wanted to I have tested with my own server uh, to see how bad this is as far as lag it's honestly not too bad um, it, it is bad if it, you're in the chunk but as far as the TPS it, it is not much lag at all surprisingly. Anyways guys, that's it for the 80 hertz clock. Wow, that's that's insane. That's insane just saying that is so fast, but 
Yeah, the that's the 80 hertz clock. Uh, thanks for watching, and be tuned for my impending video, and that will explain why the moon is red. By the way, I have a music channel now, link in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe, otherwise you will not get the free gift of a single atom of oxygen from me. Trust me, you, you want the single atom of oxygen. You, you really want the single atom of oxygen. You hear that sound right now? That's the sound of air molecules moving at 80 times a second. The same speed as this clock.